here's an example. Let D be the region uh, in the first quadrant. Bounded by the line y equals to uh, four minus two x. And compute. The integral of x, y over this domain d. To this example. All right, we already know the meaning geometric meaning of this integral, it's the volume bounded by this graph, z equal to x, y, over this domain, d. But uh, we will not try to figure out this, this volume in another way. We'll just purely stick to Cal 3 methods here. Let's first draw, draw the graph of, of the domain. So what is the graph y equals to 4 minus 2x? Well, the y-intercept of this graph is 4. When x is set to be 0, y-intercept is 4. And the slope of negative 2 means it's going down like that, slanted uh, in a more steep direction than uh, y equals to negative x. And do you know what the x-intercept is? Uh, you get that by setting y equal to 0 to get the x-intercept. You set y equal to 0, 0 equals 4 minus 2x. If you solve that, you get x equals to 2. Another way to see it is that uh, if x is 2, you get y equal to 0. So it passes through the point 2 comma 0. So this is the domain D. And over this region, you have some function. It's some kind of the graph of a two-variable two function is a surface in three-dimensional space. So you have something. And we're trying to find the volume under that, that surface. And we don't even care what that looks like at this point. We just want to calculate the value. Right? So let's try this. Um, so okay. to actually do the calculation, the hardest part is figuring out what to put at the bounds. What to put at the bounds. And it goes like this. If you have y dy, that means what's in here should be plugged into, so, so if you have dy here, you should first integrate this by y. And what's in here should be plugged into x or y, which one? It should be plugged into y, right? So when you have dy, anything that's here really is, is like y equals to and y equals to. Right? And anything in here, because you have dx here, anything that you put here should be x equal to and x equal to. Now, um, I, I like to, to explain this double integral business as like a part-time job painting something. So let's say uh, you were hired at a museum to paint the wall in some, some shape. You're given this, this, this shape. And you have to paint this region using your paintbrush. Now, there are two ways that you're allowed to paint. One is having dy inside, which means you're incrementing in the y direction. So dy is a small increment in the y direction, right? So uh, you can paint upwards. Okay. Uh, there's another way to paint it. That's that corresponds to the case where your function has dx dy. In this case, 
It's like painting right words because dx is an increment in the x direction. And uh, depending on which direction you're painting, uh, you, it determines what goes in here. Because if you're painting rightwards, these are x equal to something and x equal to something. Right? Uh, if you're painting upwards, these are y equal to something and y equal to something. Right? All right, so that's the picture that I want you to have in your mind. And really, what you want to say is, uh, you want to say, oh, your paintbrushes should begin here. And it should end here. Got it? You're, when, you, when you're painting upwards, your paintbrush should be beginning here, and it should end here, going upwards. Is that good? And what you want to put in here are the equations that describe the curve that where the paintbrush begins and where it ends you have to put the equation of this curve and this curve in here and there. That's what you have to do. Okay? All right, so first, what's the equation for this curve? It's a horizontal line. Y equals zero. Yes. What's the equation of this curve? Y equals four minus two x. So what, what do I put here? Four minus two x. What do I put here? Now, so you do this calculation. OK. Now let me talk about what, what happens if you do this paint job. Okay. Uh, what this integral really does is it, it's adding everything in the y direction. So once you've integrated it, what, what's happening in the calculation is everything is just flattened down here. Add it up, it becomes values on this, this line. And once, once you flatten down here, now you have values on this interval, and then you have to add them up. And on here, x goes from where to where? Zero to two. Zero to two. That's what you have to do, okay? And that, that's actually the most hardest part about double integrals. If you understood what I just explained, then everything from now on will be very easy and straightforward. Uh, if you didn't, hopefully in, in a few more examples, you, you'll get it. Okay? But whenever I try to explain these uh, bounds uh, by uh, talking about the equation of the curves and, and then uh, where it's flattened, if you, if you get this, uh, then you're good. Okay? Anything that I throw to you will be very easy to figure out. Yes? So you will always have a line or, a, or any, any kind of It'll be some, some cur curve to curve, and once you integrate the curve, then it'll be like a point to point. All right, so let, let's now do the computation. Then the computation part is easy. It's not that hard. So let's see, uh, 0 to 4 minus 2x, x, y, d, x, d, d, y, dx. So first you have to integrate this, right? x, y integrated by y is? X is just a constant, so you, you don't care. You're only integrating by y. So, so y squared over 2. Y squared over 2. So it's 1 half x y squared. And these are values of y. Right? So that, that's what you get after you integrate the y. <coughs> and because this is really y equals to 4 minus 2x and y equals to 0, these should be going into y only. You never plug these into x because these are the values for y. Okay. It's very important to distinguish which one goes to where. Yes? Uh, over there, uh -huh. okay, why is it for the x going from 0 to 2 instead of going from 0 to the line? Oh, so, so uh, your question is, why are we doing 0 to 2 instead of going from 0 to this line? Right? Uh, the reason is that once you integrate it, it becomes a one-dimensional Integral. See, if you integrate, you get a function of x only. So it's a, a one variable function. So you're, you're like uh, back to calculus 2, where you have a, a single variable function. Uh, so that's, that's why once you're integrating, the, the last one will have numbers. The last one will always have numbers. Here you'll have, if we curve to curve, there'll be point to point. 
So curve to curve, when you integrate them out, integration is like adding, right? You add them up, so all the values are now added up, and we have this. So, so it's like, so suppose you had like a triangular table. So you had like a three, one, two, negative two, one, five, seven, whatever, okay? And you wanted to know the sum of everything here, okay? What do you do? You can first add here, which is three, and that's seven, and seven. And then you add three plus seven plus seven, which is 17, right? It's the same kind of process. So you, once you add them, you no longer have a two-dimensional integral. You have a one-dimensional integral. That, that's what's happening. Okay. And, and, and by the way, uh, this is a very good analogy of what's happening. If you wanted to know the entire sum, you could add in the y direction first, like what we did over here, and then add the x values. Or we could also add uh, in the x direction first, so 3 and that's what uh, 11 and then add this okay so there, there's a there are two ways to do the double integrals you can set it up so that it's dy dx or you can set up as dx dy okay. so let me show you how to do dx dy af right after this okay all right uh, okay uh, so back to our ca calculation now these should be plugged in here which is 0 to 1 1 half x times 4 minus 2x squared. And when you plug in 0, that's nothing. So now we have this interval. Uh, Wait, why is it 1 to 0? 0 to 2. Oh, 0 to 2. Thank you. Zero. Uh, yeah, I, have, I can just expand this and continue to calculate, but I don't feel like doing the work, so let me do a u substitution. Sometimes that's easier. u equals to 4 minus 2x. Then uh, du is negative 2, negative 2 times dx. Right? So dx is equal to negative 1 half du. And also, if you solve this for x, what's that? Uh, u minus 4 is 2x. Therefore, x is 1 half of u minus 4. It saves us a little bit of time. Maybe you don't like that. But this is what happens. Now. And also, when, when x is 0, what's u? When x is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4. So the u becomes 4. When x is 2, it becomes, when you plug in 2, 4 minus 4 is 0. So you get 4 to 0. 1 half. x is uh, u minus 4 divided by 2. U minus 4. Oh, mi minus. Forgot the minus. So divide by negative 1 half. And then this entire thing is u, so it's u squared. And dx is uh, negative 1 half du. I, I just felt lazy, so I'm doing u substitution. But if you, if you want, you can just expand this. And it's, so, it's almost the same. Um, let's see. So negative 2, negative 2, 2, it becomes 1, 8, 4, 0. And then this becomes uh, u times u squared is u cubed. Negative 4 times u squared is negative 4 u squared. u. So that's 1, 8. Uh, 1 fourth u to the fourth minus 4 thirds u cubed. And you're plugging in 0 and 4. Actually, it's confusing. Let's just put a minus in front and change this here to 4. You know that uh, trick, right? And you can switch these two around by introducing a minus in front. And then if you plug in 4, that's uh, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, times four divided by 4. What's that? That's uh, 64. 64, yeah. 64 divided by 8, so it's negative 8. And then uh, negative, negative, positive 1 half. 4 cubed 60 is 32 plus 32 over 3. 24, 8, 8 over 3. So that, that was a cal calculation. But uh, this calculation is not that important. It's, it's, it's really the setting up part that's important. Okay. So if you didn't like the, the use of intuition that I had, and if you didn't fully follow, just, just expand this and, and do it. It's the same thing. Yes? 
Uh, how did you get your bounds from 0 to 2 to 4 to 0? Oh, because uh, when x is 0, you plug in 0 here and you get the u equal to Oh, well, the u substitution. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. that, that's, that's u substitution that you learned in, in Calc 2. Okay, uh, now let me talk about how, how to write this integral in, in uh, dx dy. Okay. So going back here, 2, 4, uh, I can try to paint this region going right. If I try to paint this region going right, um, I start from this curve and I end at this curve, right? Uh, what, what's the equation of this, this, this curve? What's the equation of the y-axis? x equal to 0. So this one has the equation x equal to 0. And this one we already know is y equals to 4 minus 2x, right? Now, however, because we are trying to write to the calculation with dx dy, not dy dx, the things that you plug in here should be x equal to something and x equal to something. And this is OK. x equal to 0. That's fine. Okay? What's not fine is this one. This is y equal to something, and now I have to write it as x equal to something. How do you do that? How would you do that? Let x equal 0. Now, x equal to 0 is here. You solve this for x. You solve this for x, and you get uh, y minus 4 equals to negative 2x. And then uh, if you divide by negative 2, x is equal to negative 1 half y. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is? 2. 2, positive 2. So it's uh, uh, negative 1 half y plus 2. And then how about y? 0 to? 4. Because if you integrate everything, now you get this one dimensional integral which starts from 0 to 4. So it's 0 to 4. Next time. And the computation of this is? Uh, almost the same. You integrate this as 1 half x squared. This plugs in, and you can do everything. And uh, I mean, if you have the time, try to compare the result of this, and you'll get the same answer. I don't think I, I really need to show that. So you can trust me on that, right? Yes? Can you explain the y integral in this place? This one? Uh, Which one? Put 0 to 4. Right. Oh, 0 to 4. OK, OK. So. As I said, explained before, once you do this interior integral, that's like adding everything on the same line. So when you add them up, when you, when you get this, this added up, you're, you're populating this line with various values. Okay? And now you're just adding everything up here, where y varies from 0 to 4, so you go from 0 to 4. Do you have any other questions?